All right, you got your three, two, one strong lifting straps around your wrist. You got them cinched down so that the noose tugs tight against the wrist. Now, when you're going to do an overhand grip, it means the strap is gonna wanna go under the bar. Now, this is really important because if you grab on the top of the bar, the strap going under gives you that second point of grip on the bar and it leverages your wrist by pulling it tight. You gotta make sure that your straps get on tight, so it's really important. You're gonna wanna start with your non-dominant hand. Now, you're setting up the bar like this, probably, for deadlifts or cleans or squats, and, and you, wanna, you wanna get that hand on there good and tight before you approach your next hand. So you make sure it's tight around the wrist, start wrapping it, and you're going under the bar first because you're looking for an overhand grip here. Wrap it tight, get it all the way around, and you're set to go. Now, before you start on this next one, make sure it's around your wrist tight that's gonna help you. You're going under the bar, you wrap it over the bar with your thumb and forefinger. It's okay if you, if you get that first one going, you kinda rev it around the bar to make sure it's good. And then, with your thumb and forefinger, you can bring it around and make the trips that it needs so that you wrap it all the way to the tail. Now, from here, if you roll the bar towards you, it's really gonna cinch down on your wrist. You should feel it. If you don't feel it cinch down and the wrist takes some of the weight, some of the tension, then you need to tighten it up and do it again before you proceed with the exercise. Once you've got it on there, you can have a lot of confidence. This puppy is gonna stay, and it's gonna take a lot of the tension out of your hands so that you can do more reps and more weight. It's a fantastic setup. You come right off and you're good to go.